The new power party has announced its first wave of candidates for the 2022 9-in-1 elections. It's nominated 10 people for council seats in Taipei, New Taipei, Taoyuan, Ilan and Hualien. They include fresh faces to politics as well as a former diplomat. The new power party has announced its candidates for this year's local elections. In Taipei, New Taipei, Taoyuan, Ilan and Hualien, it's fielding a total of 10 candidates for council seats. Some were seasoned on diplomatic assignment or at the legislature. I, Liu Shijie, have an unshirkable responsibility to Shilin and Beitou. Taipei is our capital city, and our capital needs counselors with an international outlook. I found out that my high school classmate Samantha Tai is also going to run for Xinjiang, but we're running for different parties. What I mean to say is I believe this generation can overcome party lines. I look forward to working with others in the future to stand up for the issues that matter to young people. The new power party plans to nominate 50 candidates for councils across Taiwan. It says it will form a party caucus at councils where they win three seats or more. It faces stiff competition for the youth vote from the Taiwan People's Party. We already have 11 representatives at local councils. The main difference between us and the Taiwan People's Party is that we already have an excellent record at the local level. In addition, the new power party's nomination process is handled very carefully. Our decision-making and our policies are open and transparent. I think that's another thing that differentiates us somewhat from the Taiwan People's Party. The new power party has seen a mass exodus in recent years. To save itself from marginalization, it will need to name inspiring candidates for the mayoral elections and to secure a foothold in the councillor race.